Shabbos at my brother's house in Muncie, learning the daf with his two sons-in-law, my two new condition recruits, Ellie Kraut and Tully Reinhold. Their wives can't stop thanking me the whole Shabbos, how it has changed their lives in these short two weeks. Here we go, Rabbi Isai. Zoki Gemara. Oh. But I'm not sure if you're doing something to tell you about that. Don't be distracted by all that silver in the background, Rabbi Isai. <laughs> okay, this is Rabbi Sir Goldstein in the center, listening, they're doing yesterday's shear. <laughs> okay, this picture was taken last night. I just want to show you what goes behind the scenes a little bit. All those buttons, everything. And I'm showing it today because Gary takes off on Sunday. Baruch Hashem, we have a Vremikon in the house. And also, it's a great opportunity for me to thank Dave Sharvin, who's sitting right over there. Yeah. Who, but also, he learned all the controls, all those buttons, all the uh, joysticks. And, oh, give me this. He put this together for us, a luach, our own special luach. And now, through all those years where Gary couldn't take a day off, now he's able to take off. Sundays, so Baruch Hashem. Here we go, another one. Manchester Mississippi Year 8 class on an end of the year trip. Eight members of the class are proud MDY members learning the daily daf. I don't think I showed this yet. Kol Tov, Moshe Belilo. Here's the Rebbe. Oh, it says, and slowly turning their own Rebbe into an MDYer. One! Okay. Before I forget, Shalom Aleichem, all the way from London. What's your name? Uh, ben Shabbat. Ben Shabbat? Shalom Aleichem. You sent in some email once? Yeah, quite a few. Good vacher, Belly. In respect to my father. Did I ever read it? Yeah, yeah. I read it for sure. I read, I read, I read every email. Just, I don't. Oh. Shkoyach. <laughs> Respect to my father. Not every time do I read a Barabim. Respect to my father, you'll know is from, but please keep it anonymous. If read. I'll respect it. I do hope you let everyone know the power of learning the daf. To make a very long story short, my father has been battling an infection in his foot for several weeks. Because he was resting, he took it upon himself to do the daf and returned to Eli's daf Yomishir. The short part of the story was yesterday, my father was admitted to the hospital for emergency surgery. And of course, we were all nervous with the news the surgeons gave us. We looked at each other and we said, knew what's going to be. His father said, take out your phone and sponsor tomorrow's shear. I said, no problem. I'll get to it. He said, no, no, right now. Sponsor tomorrow's shear. I stopped what I was doing, put all the surgeon doctors aside. Only you would have the chutzpah and logged into the sponsors Friday's da, Friday morning. Kids are, a nay snigla happened. Nine minutes later, <laughs> the surgery was pushed off and Shalom Yisrael Hashem could continue to give you and your family the support and strength to continue the shear over and over again. I'm an 80-year-old BT. I was the one who started with Yavamas and dropped out after two months. I rejoined for Kedushin. I have a problem with all the Hebrew terms that are spoken. For example, both the eight-minute daf and the full daf start off with a number of words that could, that could be Greek to me. Listen to the beginning and see what I mean. I fear that if, the, if this continues, I'll be dropping out again. Too many Hebrew terms, no English explanation. Shabbat Shalom, Simcha, Margent, Thornhill, Ontario, Canada. Wow. Okay. Listen, I want to, Rabbi Isai is also. I have to tell you that for me, it's very difficult to, to stick in English words. I'm used to much more yeshivish kind of style. This is also bechesed. So to go even more than that is a shir. 
<laughs> Dear Belly, Agishmak, Benji and myself joined to listen in the office while working. Just one proud. We're supposed to be working, but, but you, we're supposed to be working, but your shear is far too interesting for this. The kids are, we might need to change to a boring shear. Just want to ask, not complaining. Is it appropriate to learn the sugi daf? He brings the daf here. I'm not going to mention because then we'll get a thousand clicks on it. With kids in Bachram there. Be blessed. Love you all to bits. Kind regards, David Pollack. So again, I just want to reiterate. My Ashkafa and a lot of our Ashkafa over here is that we learn everything and everything is for, it doesn't, doesn't stare at children. I know Hasidim are, a lot of Hasidim are Makbid and sometimes I give a, an mm-hmm. a advanced warning, but sometimes it's just, it just goes under the radar so we don't have to make a whole ASIC out of it. But Dayal Hakim Biramiza, we go weiter. Koilo of the month is sponsored, may we merit the crown Hashem. The Mesech, the Lachan Levick's family is like in New Jersey because Toyre and Achdos are the best segula. Parnas HaChodesh, Linish Maschai Bas Yosef, Parnas HaChodesh, Linish Maad, Avram Albert, Halevi, Ben Esring, Gabriel, Ben Yaminov. Parnas HaChodesh, in honor of Elisi, Mashas, and all the life change, uh, and all them the wires. Parnas HaChodesh, Linish Maschai Ben Moshe. I can tell that Yosef uh, is sleeping. It, like, he was up half the night, so there's no, no, he missed half the sponsors. Great. It's better for us. Art of the month, Yosef Ben Chai Sora, for all the schusim that come from supporting Limit Torah, and he wanted me to say, that there's an unedited cheer. If you want, if you're early on, before the cheer comes out, edited, it takes a few hours, a good few hours. So it's now available on all daf. If you can't wait for the edit, you can still learn the daf without, without the need for YouTube, he says. It's on all daf, and he's showing you right over here the edit. Okay. Raboy Sai, we're holding all in the bottom daf, Yud Gimel and Beis. And believe it or not, just like that, we finished the entire sugya about a woman getting married. And now we're moving on to other things. We're going to be speaking today about a Yivama and about an Eved. It's actually a very easy sugi today. It's simple, simple drushes. How do you know this? From this. How do you know that? From that. It's on the simple side. I have a shayla for the oilam. Think about it for a second. And if you learned the sugya, please don't answer. But think about, we know the concept of the vertsia. If a slave wants to stay longer than the six years, then you... Puncture his ear. Is there a slave, that's okay, is there a slave that you cannot do it to? Is there an Evid Ivri that cannot have Ritzia? They don't have ears. Exactly. They don't have ears. <laughs> Very nice. Okay, good. So you said, uh, no? no. <laughs> if they had it already? Why not? Why can't you do it? It's good. No, I don't think that's the answer. There's another answer. Anybody? Anybody? <coughs> and if you did the sugi, you want to answer? <laughs> Negative saras on his ear. Okay, you're talking about technical. I'm talking about the evid himself, and he's also technical. The evid himself is not roy for ritzia. <laughs> Very good. Who said that? <laughs> Abigail Gear is up in the house. What? What a, what a shame. What a shame! What a shame that you sleep a lot. You know, the Talmud Chacham like you should be up and learning. Yeah. So the answer is, says Reb Nachman Teh, Moicher Atzmoi. Moicher Atzmoi. So we'll see. It's Machloikis. But there's a difference. I just want to tell you right out. There's a difference between somebody that sells himself, or if he's forced by Bezin, the Bezin sells him because he stole. Says the Gemara like this. That's in the Mishnah. That the only way to acquire Yivam is not through Kesem and Shtar, but with Bia. How do we know this? Comes his wife through what? It says It says Li Isha. So maybe she should be like a regular wife. And a regular wife, you could also be kinder, but Kesav Vishtar. Says Yimor Ali Sokka Daitach. No, no way. The Sanya Yochel Yu Kesev Shtar Goimrim Ba Kederach Shabi Gemeres Ba. I would think that a Kesev Shtar also works. Tam Loimar Viyib Ma. So, oh, so first of all, let's let's just show this real quickly. Why not? I'm going to show a little bit more. There's a, there's an addition to this. But here you have two brothers, and we call them the Baldwin brothers. Avi Factor is one of the Bolvin brothers. The other, the fourth one is actually here in Mapet Shemesh. My son, uh, if you weren't at, you, okay, not everybody was here, but during Kriya Satoira, Reb Nachman Seltzer gave my son, Aaron, a Misha Beirach. And because of that, so he smiled from ear to ear, and then 
every single aliyah from in the, from Nachman Zalevi. So every single aliyah, like the next six or mm-hmm. seven aliyahs, every single person gave the fourth Baldwin brother uh, a Mishaberach. Great. So here are only two of them, Reuben and Shimon. And one of the brothers married the five-towner, and then he went bye-bye. So Shimon has the option to do two things. Either he could be Miyabim, or he could perform Chalitza. We're going to be talking a lot about Chalitza soon. So, since it says in the Pasuk, Sorry, let's go back. Did I just, there, let me do this for a second. Yeah, this one. So there's a double lush in here. Yivama v'yibma. So the Gemara learns from it. There's only one way to acquire is through bia, and we explain. We said a number of times that if a yavam performs kesef, the king kesef, that's only midrabanan. He 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 acquires her to the point where his other brothers can't acquire. But it's just a midrabanan thing. But midrabanan is only bia. So if you learned with us, Yivamas, these are all very familiar sugyas. In fact, we learn from this word. It's not ve'ema. We learn from here that you, a Yavam doesn't have to ask the Yavama permission. He's min Yavam bal karchach. Forcefully. Says the you're right. The word ve'ema, the extra hey. We had this earlier as well, and we're going to have it again today. The extra hey is a lotion, is an extra limud. Shmas min otarity, you learn from here two limudim. Force, and also that's the only way to, be, to, to acquire three evil. Bachalitza min alon. Oh, so for this, Rabbi said we have to see the new, brand new. This is new, we'll go through it real quickly. This we said already. Two brothers are married, and one of them, uh, two brothers, not married. Two brothers, one of them is married to a five-towner, and he goes, bye-bye. So now, Shimon goes in front of a Bezdin and performs Chalitza. So just, let me just show you also here. I haven't shown this in it's a week. Reboi Sai, what happened was, when we were learning Yavamas, I really wanted to get a real Chalitza shoot. And the uh, Tomer went all over to all the Batidinim. Those who have it would not lend it out. It cost them over $2,000 to, to make one of these. I don't know why exactly, but that's it. There's a, a, a Bezin somewhere, I forgot which one, maybe I'll tell you, has every size. As we're going to learn, it has to fit perfectly. It can't be too large, it can't be too small. Mm-hmm. So it's very expensive, and they, they were concerned that we're not going to return it. So I reached out to Yaakov Ayal who's a big part of our shear, he's in charge of all the merch. He designs the cufflings and the this and the that, the sacks. He, and he's very talented. He made this from scratch. It's made out of leather, pretty much. And you see it has a lot of stuff that uh, the real shoe has, the, the holes in the back here, because he's supposed to put these ritsuas through the holes. It's a whole way to tie it. We learned through, we went through the whole circuit. So this is the shoe. Now we'll go back to this chart. <laughs> they sell it in AliExpress. You tell me, I want. You know what? Get me one from AliExpress. I'll pay you double. Yeah. <laughs> Somebody sent me actually. The, it was a joke. It's one of these memes. Like I'm sugaring a shoe with a lot of buckles. He said the, the you know a designer designed a special shoe, like this five hundred dollars shoe for Khalitza. Great. Actually, it's much cheaper than the real one. So the, you go in front of the best and check this out. Oh, oh, hold on, hold on. I don't know if you noticed. Avi's uh, foot is rolled up over there. His pants are already rolled up. He's ready to go. This is all new. You see what's going on here? He's wearing the shoe. Okay, now she's already facing him, this five-towner. What, what is she wearing now? Now she's wearing a snood? A okay. She says, She has to say these psukim. Now if you notice, there's a lot of people in the background that's supposed to be in front of a whole tzibur. And he says, I don't want to take her. And then she bends down, she undoes the shoe, and she takes it off, she throws it, she throws it across the thing. Now he's barefoot, Avi. He's still holding his Gemara, though. Mamash, a real, true Ben Teira. Uh, right over here, she's going to spit. Oh, here, the spit. You saw the spit? Boom, and you have to see it, and if the diet misses, you have to do it again. It's a whole, 
It's a bush over there. And they they all say chalutzanal, chalutzanal, chalutzanal. Okay, that is the the uh, you like it? Not bad. Okay, it's it's yeah. So much of this, Rabbi Isai, is in uh, in our parish that we just read yesterday. So many psugim. If I forget to say it, just you'll know. Look on the side. It's all dvarim chavdal, dvarim chavhei, dvarim chavhei, chavdal. It's all kiseite. Minolon, bechalitza minolon. How do you know that she acquires herself with chalitza? So what's the Gemara's question? Rashi explains. Perhaps she has to do chalitza. It says in the Torah you do chalitza. But where does it say that she's allowed to marry somebody after the chalitza? Maybe it's one of the, the things she has to do. And that's it. She goes home and she can't marry anybody. That what? Kivin shecholatz bonal. Once she removes the shoe. Hutru l'chol Yisrael. Okay. Beis chalutza noal v'nikra shmoi be Yisrael ha Yisrael says the Gemara, but you're learning from the extra Yisrael ha Yisrael lachu da asa lachu da asa ha mebayil le gitani Reb Shmuel bar Yehuda be Yisrael be bezim she Yisrael we like bezim she like the kachavim we actually had a sugi in Yevamis yibum is different than even ritzicha ritzicha the dayin as long as his mother is a Jew he's a Jew right a mother's Jew we know. But when it comes to Yibam, the father and the mother have to be Jewish. Chalitza, what did I just say? This one you're right. The other one I checked. No, I didn't. No, I didn't check. But you must have wrong. You're right. But it's because this two times it says Yisrael, here they are, post exam. So since it says the word Yisrael twice, we have an extra Yisrael that what? That she becomes mutter to Yisrael through Chalitza. But wait a minute. I need to be Yisrael for something else. I was one, we were once sitting from the Rebbe Tarifin. And Yivama came for Chalitza. What do we say? That there's Yibam in, in the Bezin of Bnei at least once a month. It's crazy. Yeah. Chalitza. There is no Yibam anymore. Chalitza. Why? Because we... These older couples, a lot of times the older couple gets married, and then it's either a very young couple or very old. Usually older people. You have to say it aloud. So that's Vinikr Shmoy Yisrael. Ahumi Vinikr Shmoy, not from the word Yisrael, but from Vinikra, that you have to say it aloud. Fine. And how do you know more? How do you know? That when the Yavim dies, as the Mishnah tells us, the first Mishnah in Kiddushin, if the Yavim dies, she's, she's permitted to marry whoever she wants. How do you know? Maybe she can't marry anybody, like we discussed last night, about a regular woman. How do you know that she's... How do you know that a Yavim is kind of herself? Says, a regular woman who's a Ish, if she's Mizana, she gets Chenek. Yet if her husband dies, it's matter. So Eshesish is very chamor. And the death of her husband is matter. Yevama she belav. Here's the lav. This button. Oh. No. This one. Ki Eshu Yachim 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 she has Zika to the Yavam. She's not an Ish. Her husband is dead. She's in the wings waiting for a Yavam to be Yavam, but he's not. So meanwhile, she goes and marries somebody else. What is she over? A Lav. Not an Isr Chenek. Not a, a Misa of Chenek. Yavam is she Lav. So since it's much lighter than the Isr of Ish, certainly she be mad to her with the death of the Yavam. This is the Gemara culture. Mal Ish Ish can Yaitza beget. No. You know what? A regular Ishazish has a kula. I'm going to get rid of your Kaval Chaimer. Why? Because you're starting from a wrong place. Ishazish, you're right, she's Ishazish and she gets Chenek. But there's something very easy about her. You, all you need to do is write 12 lines and she's, she's mutter to marry whatever she wants. Toyim Bazu, but Yavama, Shani you can't write a, a get. Zimara, you're right, you can't write a get. Honami Yoyzba Chalitza, but she has something very easy. All she needs to do is spit at a shoe and do a little bit of a thing and then and, and she's mutter. Okay, so therefore what? We have a Kavachoymer. Our Kavachoymer is intact right now. We try to knock off the Kavachoymer and say that a, a, a Ish is Ish 
is light because she goes out with get, well, I'm going to counter that with uh, Yavam is also light because she goes out with Chalisa, but kids are, and therefore we remain with the Gav HaChaymer. Ella, but maybe I have another Pircha. Mal Eishas Ish, she can oisra matira. When Eishas Ish, who, who asers, who makes the, the woman asser? Her husband. Now her husband is no longer with us. So maybe she becomes mutter. But over here, the Yavam, the Gemara says, didn't cause her Isser. The Yavam, what did the Yavam do? The Yavam didn't perform anything. The Yavam didn't give her Kiddushin. Why, if the Yavam dies, would she become mutter to the world? When a husband dies, the husband was Mekadosh who gave her a ring. He made her also to the whole world. He's no longer with us. He went up to Shemayim. So that Isser went away. Now she becomes mutter. But over here, she falls to the Yavam automatically. When her husband dies, she falls to the Yavam. The Yavam didn't perform Chalitza, he didn't perform Yibam. He's just there. So Mechitesh, if he dies, she should be mutter to the world. Omer Ravashi, Honami Oisra Matira. Yavam Oisra, Yavam Sharila. If the Yavam wasn't in existence, she would be mutter to the whole world. So why is she Usher to the world? Because the Yavam is alive. So that means the Yavam does create an Isser here. And therefore, if the Yavam mm. dies, it makes sense that she should be mutter. And therefore, what? I have a Kavachimer. My Kavachimer remains. Okay, so we're, we're, we're still with the Kavachimer. The Reva Eishasish, who's Bechenek, goes out with the death of the, the, her husband. So certainly, a Yavama should, should, should uh, and a Yavama, it's only a If the Yavam dies, she should be mutter to the world. So now another thing. I have a question. Why is it that a regular woman, you can't just do the whole shoe ceremony and let her go out just like a Yavama could do it? A Yavama can't go out with a get, but the shoe works. It's a woman who can just write a couple of lines. Even the husband can write it. You don't need to explain nothing. Write a little uh, document and she goes out. So certainly a shoe should work. Those of us who just finished Gitin are very familiar with this. The document is what creates the get and nothing else. It's a it's a mute, it's a limitation to the get. Okay, let's do the opposite question. Why doesn't the Yavama go out with the get? Why not? That we just established cannot go out with the chalitza only with the get. So Yavama, that the shoe does work, certainly it gets to work for her. Here it is in the Pasuk. She takes off the shoe. She spits. This is how it's done. Asher leave this base who doesn't want to rebuild his brother's house. So kach is the ikov. How do you say ikov in English? Restriction. Uh, no. Restriction. No. It's the ikov. It has to be exactly like this. It's a requirement. It's a not a requ- more than a requirement, but like a strong requirement. Uh, you know what? Sometimes constraint. A constraint. No. So Not a constraint. What? Sometimes the Hebrew word is the only word that there is. Right. It's the ikov. ikov. Okay. I'm sorry to the 80 year old. It's the ikov. <laughs> Some of you <is> wrong. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, chas is wrong. We want it. What do you mean? If the Torah says it has to be specifically like this, it's it's. Constraint means that it's limited. No, uh, this is you have to do it like this. It's a prerequisite. Okay, I like that better than constraint. Pre, it's a prerequisite, no, but it's more than that. It's it has to, must. It's a must. Ikov is a must. Okay. So if the Torah says it must be like that, you can't put a kavachayim on it. Yom Kippur. Rabbi, say, hear this. Yom Kippur. When's Yom Kippur? Thirty days from now. Oh, he's right. <laughs> oh, he's right. For 30 days before Yom Kippur, we're going to talk about Yom Kippur today. I have to show you that when we were learning Yuma, ah, the, the owner of Kol Essential. Essential? <laughs> yes, essential. Basic. I like that. Essential. It's very essential to the thing. Now, even though it's essential, good. 
Essential. 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 That English, English, please. Rabbi Sa'i, here's from the, the Kalashim book, which we have Rishos to use. I'll, I'll mention this again. The owner of Kalashon, he, he has you know millions of hours of shiurim on his website. It's like it's like a Torah any time in America. And he puts together these books that cost hundreds of thousands of dollars and he refuses to take a single donation. You can't do any Lilinishans. Everything has to be from his own pocket and he does it himself. The book on, uh, which one was it that he told me? On Erevin, cost him $750,000. $750,000. It's, uh, you'll see, it's like 3D art. It's very, it's very cool. So over here, you just see, I mean, Kipper, you bring two goats that are exactly the same size. They look the same. Everything's the same. And you have to do a raffle to see which one is the chatas, goes on the mizbeach, and which one do you throw off a cliff, la zazel. So here are the, uh, the raffle things. You put it in, and now the kain gadol takes it out, and the one in the right hand, he does like this, he puts it on the goat, and shalom Yisrael. It must be like that. Now, if a woman buys, or even a man, or whatever, you, sometimes you, you have to purchase two birds, for chatas and oila, a zav, zava, mtsoyri, ledes, so how do you establish which one is what? You say, this one is a chatas, this one is a with your mouth, you say it. So now the Gemara says, but I'm a kipper, what happens if you just, if the client says, instead of me doing a raffle, I want to decide with my mouth how to be verbally, I say, this one is a chatas, this one is a like we usually do. So here it says in the Pasuk, you make a gairal, then later on, the Rishonim explain, I think it's the, uh, the Ramban. Interesting that it's like the Darsh at the time of the crow kind of thing. Why, why do you have to have a girl? Just the kind should say, this one is this, this one is that. This is because. What, what they're doing is, they're taking this, uh, this goat, they're almost giving it like to the Sitra Achra, throwing it off the cliff, so it looks like Abed it, l- it looks like you're giving a gift to the Sitra Achra, so you say, you know what, Hashem, you do it. You decide which one it is. It wasn't me, the kind that did it. So this is a Ramban. This is not a, like an Achra and saying, uh, so, I think it's the Ramban. So, you can't just say it verbally. It has to come through the girl. So the, this is the, right here is the Gemara's question. You saw it says in the Pasuk, Chuka. It's a chayk, like a paraduma chayk. That's it. End of the story. It's essential. Over here, it doesn't really make so. It doesn't fit in. It's a constraint. But yet, now the Gemara is asking Kava What do you mean you're asking Kava How does the Kava fit in here? If the Torah says, the Torah says. You have to do it like that. Why would I think that a Kavachoymer should undo what the Torah says? Oh, Valoy Dinu. Where you cannot do a Goyrel. Where? Anytime you bring two birds, you can't do a Goyrel. The woman has to say, this one is a Chad, this one is a Zayla. So by the Sarla Zazel, where you could use a Goyrel, anything she can Hashem. So I have a good Kavachoymer that's in the Gnaka of the Pasuk that you thought is essential. It's not essential. I have a Kavachoymer. What's this? Oh, no, this I'm just showing that if a person if a person doesn't have money, it's a carbon oil of a yoyred, so you can bring two birds. He decides which one it is. No, this is something else. Okay, well, I'm on to the big... Okay, what a coincidence. It's only once uh, every 12 months. Mm-hmm. Mamish Fidin. Okay. I'm saying that's why I'm not so excited. It is a little exciting that all these psukim are in Parshat Shavuot. But it has to be that Parshat Kisaitzi has 73 mitzvahs, I think, or whatever. The most mitzvahs in how many? 74. Okay. So to, to have a punkta mitzvah, but still, it's still nice. But so chatos is, there's a double lashon, it says it twice. Hagoy is a chatos, vina shem is a chatos. Fine. Says the Gemara, but here's the question. The time of the Matikra, it's only because you have a Kfilu Salashan of a Sochatos and, and that gets rid of our Kavachoymer. Kavachoymer. You would say Kavachoymer, So you tell me just because it says Kacha, 
doesn't, doesn't, doesn't help us. You still have a Kavach Haimer. Says the Gemara, you're right. Okay, so let me go away from that. I have a new drasha. Oh my Kro. La, 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 la. It says in the Pasuk, la. La, 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 Okay. So, no, come on. We want to know that a Yivama should be able to go out beget. No, it says la. Only a woman goes out and not a Yivama. Ve'ma la And these are all questions, not, these are not like ema. Again, this is stuff that we learned in Mesech Lezgitin, that a get must be lishma. It says because of law, Savior Kriyasus here, I just, I'm jumping it, but you can see because of law, that you have to have in mind who you're writing to get. You can't stop and write a get, put it in your drawer and you use it for a different wife, or whatever you feel like. It has to be for this, for this wife. Sigmar says because, so I already used the word law, that you need lishma. Says Gemara, trade lock CV. If you look over here, Pasuk Aleph and Gimel both say because of law. So we have two limudim. Vakati me baile, chad la lishma, vidach la, la, vla, vla, la, vla chaverta. You cannot use one get for two different <coughs> wives. Guys, uh, too many wives. It's ten wives. It's like to save some money. Starts upgrading this one out, this one out. Okay, we put two, three wives in one. Shalman Yisra. You can't do that. Each one gets her own get. So I used up two laws. Elo makro noal. Okay, we're going to a new drasha. A nal, a, a shoe. Nal in midachin eloi. The only way for a yavam to get out of it is through a shoe, the shoe process, not a get. As you can hi nal, how do you know that if you use oi There's only four minutes left here. Okay, we started late. How do you know that you can use anybody's shoe? You can go to the bezin and take a shoe from their, their pile. You don't have to bring your own shoe. So we don't have an extra word now. You can't use a, a shoe that's too large, too small. The uh, shoe that doesn't have a sole. They say about the, the, the Regina... In, in Europe, he, he had all this uh, fancy clothes, you know, the, the big, the, the fur, and the this, and then he had golden shoes. So people were like saying, it's, it's, it's pasnish, the red with golden shoes. And then they noticed once by Kiddush Levana that there was blood in the snow. And they realized that his golden shoes didn't have a soul. What? Yeah. You heard this, Maisa? Sure. Okay, so Maisa, we don't have extra word now. My hanal again the hey the extra hey must be notarity that the only way a yivama gets out of it is through the shoe process not through a get we also learned that now there could be anybody's shoe it has to fit him etc etc we just turned to Yudalan and Bay sponsored in honor of Elchanan Pressman by his nephew as a schus for a year filled with mazel bracha pernasa berevach and by Greg Haber pernasa bracha pernasa atzlocha brios. His family rebellion and all MDY and everyone doing the daf oh, main. I, ha- I just want to show you real quickly. Here's the two nals. The chaltsa naloi, the nikkah shuwa bisro beis chaltsa noal. Great. Now, Rabbi Isai, whole new Mishnah, whole new sugya, all about Evid Ivri now. Evid Ivri nikna bekasa vushtar. A Jewish slave, you can purchase him with money and a shtar. The koina atzmoy, how does he get out of it? Bishanim. You buy him for how long? For six years. So if the six years come, he goes out. Whatever is first, that's how he goes out. Be yoival, ubi yoival. So if yoival comes in the middle of the six years, yoival is every 50 years, the, the shmit is every seven years, seven times seven, 49, in the 50th year, he goes out. I believe he goes out actually on Yom Kippur, talking about Yom Kippur. Huh? What do you mean? How do you have the 50? Yeah. Oh, it's the whole thing with rebu- with review and everything. Kids are, is it part of it? Is it not part of it? Ubi Gerayin Kesef. Ubi Gerayin Kesef we discuss. If a person purchases a slave for 600, so six years for 600, every year is 100. He worked for three years. He gives back 300 and he goes out. Yisera Lav Amivriya and a, uh, a woman slave, a Jewish woman slave, she has one more thing that a uh, man doesn't have. Shekainis Atzma B'Simonim. When she becomes a Naira and she has Simonim, that's how she becomes an Naira. That's how she goes free. 
Hanirza Nikna Beritzia. Oh, we, we might as well show it, even though it's not the right way. I got to tell him to, to, to change it a little bit. Zavi Factor. Grab him by the left ear, which is supposed to be the right ear. Boom. Makes a hole in it. He's supposed to scream, no? Oh, the thing's off. Okay. So, the, you, had he become a Nirza, you could go for more years through poking the hole in the ear. Why do you poke a hole in the ear? Leave. We're slaves like a we're not to somebody else. If you didn't hear it, then you deserve to get a puncture in your ear. This Nirza guy, how could he acquire himself? On the Yoival, he goes out. What does that mean? That a regular slave, a Jewish slave, doesn't leave once his master dies. He stays with the children. But a Nirza leaves. Says the Gemara. Evidently, Nikhil Mikesef. Anybody wants to leave at 8 o'clock, get up and leave right now. And that's it. You have a 10 second. September 1st, that's when you have to go at 8 o'clock? Ah, it's cool. So you just, you see, so Rabbi Isai, you see what just happened? He showed that when, when he could, he stays. It's not the time he goes at 8. So all the times they went at 8, it's mamish because it was a hechrach. It's mamish unbelievable. <coughs> All right, Zokhtin Gemara. Evet Ibri Nikna Bekesef Minola. How do you know that if you're a Jewish slave, you can purchase them with money? Omar Kro, and this is talking about there's different types of slaves. This one is sold to a guy. Omar Kro, Mikesef Miknosoi. Milamin Shnikna Bekesef. That what? You do Geroyan Kesef. You pay back the, the, the master. The, the, you prorate how much you worked and how much you owe him and you give him. So it seems like he was purchased with money. Milamin Shnikna Bekesef. Says Gemara, very good. That's because he was sold to a guy. How does a guy make a Kenyan with money? Nuclear Israel, but a, a Jew doesn't make Kenyan with money. How does a Jew make a Kenyan? With Meshicha. The Gemara thing, understands that it's a Metaltalan. Minalan. You see, by Omevriya, uh, she also has a Hefda. She could go out, Begurain Kesev, prorate it. Ashkechon Omevriya. Oh, Maria was a woman. There's kedushin on her with money, so you can purchase her with money. And we said it has to do because this yield with Oh, Maria, so it's in the parish of kedushin. Every minala, a man, you can purchase him with money. It says in the same pasuk, every and every, a man and a woman, every So whatever halachas you have by every, you have by every. But there's another type of slave. There's a slave that's sold because he stole and he doesn't have money to pay back, so Bezin forced him to be sold. Since he's forced to be sold, so, so therefore, you can purchase him with money. But if a guy decides on his own to be a slave, how do you know that money works? Check this out just for a second. It says in one passage, and that's talking about the Bezin selling him. And then it says, It's talking about when he sells himself. So you have the two red words, and that is a hekish. Between the, the nimkar from Bezin, which we said you could use money, and a guy that sells himself, which we don't know yet, and we say, here's the Gzer Yishav. We're going to say soon, who this guy is, who, not guy, who's the man, the Omar, who says that you, can, you don't learn the Gzeri Shavu Sacher Sacher. How's he going to know that a person that sells himself could be sold for money? Omar Kro, Vichy, Sasig, Musaf al Inyan Rishon, Vyuma Devi Tachta. The Moicher Atzmoi is next to the guy that sells himself to the guy. And by guy, we said, a guy, if you sell yourself to a guy, it's with money. A guy, you, that's how he buys, with money. So since it says vichi vi, and it's a continuation, so now it's a continuation of that parish of the guy. Just like by a guy, you purchase with money, so too a guy that sells himself as a slave also is purchased with money. And the story of now, just as a side note, who's this Tana that doesn't agree with this Gzeri Shava? 
So this is an amazing Allah here. If you sell yourself, you could sell yourself even more, for more than six years. You make a deal with the owner. He said, listen, you wanted to pay me 600 for six years? Pay me 1,000 for 10 years. You could do that, says Rashi. But Bezdin don't have a right to sell for more than six years. Even if he owes a million dollars, he stole a lot of money. Six years is the limit. You hear it? So that's, that's the answer to the question. Again. According to this Tana, there's no Ritzia when you sell yourself. You sell yourself, you don't get any gifts. You don't have to get a gift. You don't have to give him a tip when he leaves. But if Bezdin sold him, there's a mitzvah to give him a lot of gifts when he leaves. If the master has a non-Jewish slave, he could give that non-Jewish slave to the, to the, to the Jewish slave that was sold by a Bezdin, but not one that sold himself. And Rashi sticks in that, he, that the master should have vladis from her. It's a way for the master to, to benefit and have vladis from his non-Jewish slave. Rebbe Lezer, Rebbe Lezer, Rebbe Lezer argue, argues and says, they're all the same. Selling yourself, sold by Bezin, there's a limit of six years. Zev Zed Nirzai, you can do Ritzia. Zev Zed Man, you can give gifts. Zev Zed Rabbi, you can give gifts. And both of them, you give a shift to Kananis. So, my love, Baal Kimifliki, perhaps this is Machlok, it's Tanakam, the Yolof Sacher Sacher. Rebbe Lezer is the Yolof Sacher Sacher. You learn the guy from the, the, the Jewish slave sold himself to, to oh, sorry, Sacher Sacher, the Nimkar and Bezdin, to, is it on the screen? No. The Bezdin, to Moicher Atzmoy, and what are, they have the same exact halachas. Only six, you can do Ritzia to both, etc., etc. Omer Avti Vyumi, very blessed, Yolof Sacher Sacher. Omer Avti Vyumi, Mishmei Dabai, no, the Kulei Amal Yolof Sacher Sacher, no, everybody agrees that there's a Xer Shav between the two and you have to compare the two. But there's another pasuk. My time at the Tanakh, the Omer Mechah Atzim and Nicholas Sheish, Yes, 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 Me at Rachmana, the Torah put a limitation here. Gabi Mechru Bezdin. It's only by 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 Nimkar by Bezdin. By Avot Chashesh Shonim. That's said by the Bezdin. It's a limit of six years. Zev Eloi Mechah Atzim. Vidach. We're just going to do a few more lines here. Vidach. By Avot Chol Lachav Eloi Liyar. It's not true. By Avot Chashesh Shonim is not a limitation for six years, but it's to tell you to you and not to somebody. That inherits you. Now we must see Rashi here. Why? Because we said that if you if you're a, a Jewish slave, you do work for the for the Yarish. That's what he said in the Mishnah. So the Rashi says over Yarshim, five lines from the bottom. Oh, what kind of Yarish are we talking about? A daughter. Or a brother. Of course. Yeah, uh, a Jewish slave goes down, be Yerusha to the sun. And, mm-hmm. where do we stop here? Okay, hold on. Let's just, so we don't have to stop in the middle of a, start in the middle of a word tomorrow, which we'll have to do anyway. Okay. There's two Avotcha. So, what does he do with the extra? So, there's a pasuk over here. Le'ikshu means to make the the master feel good. Don't look at this possible. It should be hard for you to send him away. Yes, you got used to him. He worked for you six years. You get a bracha for him. Let him go. Rabbi Sai, have a wonderful day.